Yo, 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 what's going on, homies at home? That's it's your boy RC here. Get ready to get into this video by WWE called Top 10 SmackDown Live Moments WWE Top 10 January 24th, 2017. So, this happened two days ago, to be honest. I wanted to post this. Um, well, it came out Wednesday. I mean, so I guess. Well, I wanted to do it Wednesday and post it the same day, but I was live streaming for y'all. But now it's better than ever. Hopefully, y'all enjoy it. Remember, smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Twitter, RC underscore reacts, follow me on Instagram, RC reacts. And I didn't see what was going on, smash that live at all. So, this, whatever happens, is new for me. I haven't seen any of it. Let's go ahead and hop into the video right now. Alright, number 10. Springboard! Oh! Guess Looking for the tornado instead. Locked right into nice. a super kick from Dolph Ziggler. Okay. Okay. I like that new attitude he got. And Mojo Rawley. Oh, Mojo Rawley. He's just there. Mojo Rawley is up to the Royal Rumble match. Mojo Rawley. That's Mojo Rawley for entering the Royal Rumble. Look at that. Oh, is that Naomi? Since we just turned to a bad girls club, like really, the way Nikki and Natalya are going, like wow, what's that Bree? I don't know which one he is, but no, it's Nikki. It's Nikki. She's not playing no more. She is not playing. Oh, I just need to add to what's coming out of her. It's like she's more aggressive. I like, I like this new add to. There's Dolph again. How is JBL would come out of like reti quote unquote retirement just to feud with Dolph Ziggler and teach him a lesson of respect? That would be cool to see. I'd actually watch oh, and Apollo Crews from behind attacking Dolph Ziggler. He's seen enough of the show off's new behavior. Oh man, that's crazy. This is going to be a chair, really. Really? Looking to give him some of his own bad medicine. Wow. Okay. And Dolph Ziggler hightailing it. Up the to the hills. He just hightailed it out of there. Discus by Randy Orton. No emotion from Bray Wyatt. And Bray is not impressed. No, okay. That was nice. Everywhere. Mickey James again get involved. And this oh, Alexa oh, Bliss! This is Alexa Bliss out of nowhere. Really? Wow. Okay. SmackDown Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. She's gonna go for a somersault flip and a new sidekick, Mickey James, and a twisted wow. bliss having okay. insult to injury on Becky Lynch. Lynch. That was nice though. That move is that move is nice. This. Oh no! Yo. They should have saved this for like the Royal Rumble. They should have. I don't know why they would do it for a go home SmackDown hand it into the Royal Rumble. They should have did this at the Royal Rumble. Like the tension between Randy Orton and Luke Harper became so you know that Bray had make a choice. And I would see WWE just be like messing up at some points. They just be screwing it up. They should have saved that for a Royal Rumble. They should have, in my opinion. That's what I would have done. You are the only excuse left because you are a sorry excuse for a wrestler. Oh. John Cena stays getting this And I now. see you've got a new shirt. That's cute. Respect. Earn it. What does AJ Styles have to do to get some respect around it? What do I have to do to <laughs> earn it? Wow. Dude, okay. you've been hot for like six months. I held this place down for well over a decade. Well, well that is facts. Remember, AJ Styles was the face of TNA 
since but a like 2002. Like so can stand in this I mean, he held TNA down for like a, a decade. Sorry excuse so. for a wrestler. Why? Because I didn't put time in on the indie scene. <sighs> Oh, that's a direct this to TNA. Here's a spoiler alert. Wow. I wasn't built for the indie scene. I was built for the WWE, for SmackDown Live, for the Royal Rumble, for moments like wow. right here, right John now. Cena, John Cena is true, though. He, he's right. He's right. Oh, Ambrose got him. That's nice one, too. Oh, Actually, give him. He needs to get a world title shot, though. Dean Ambrose is so underrated to me. At some points, it feels like he is. He deserves a world title shot somewhere down the line. He deserves to hold the world title for a while, at least for a few months, at least. But him as Eric Idol champion is pretty good. And the feud with Nikki Bella and Natalia is actually nice. I like it. I enjoy where it's going. And then the feud with the Wyatt family, they should have saved that for the Royal Rumble. They should have saved it for the Royal Rumble. That's just my opinion. Because a lot of good storylines need to happen at pay big pay-per-views to sell more tickets or just get more people interested into the storyline, you know. But other than that, it was a pretty good top 10. It was a, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed my reaction and my thoughts about it. Remember to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, it's your boy RC signing off. Much love. Peace.